My dinner. 98p. Beet salad. Moroccan inspired couscous. The earth that provided the food. I didn't make my food into a philosophy or a diet or a statement or an advert to promote to other people. I wish to share this video so that all of us can be sensitive to our food that we eat to see how alert the food is, how alive this food is. I don't know, you can read all about every one of these ingredients in my salad and in the grape and in the couscous and in the chickpea and the raisins and cranberries that are in the couscous and many other ingredients that are there. One could put it under a microscope, litmus test, dip it in different ways and come up with all kinds of data and analysis and graphs and information. The real information is in your stomach. That's what you call the gut feeling. The stomach that's breaking down. Your digestive canal that process the food from the time it touches your lips right the way to its elementary canal. The food is processed digested, ingested, and ejected. <laughs> what we have to realize is that the food that we eat must become part of us. And for that to happen, we should make a food simple enough in its genetic code and it should be simple enough to integrate without investing too much of your energy of any kind more importantly you must never become in a state that the food that you eat is going to become a statement or a policy or a diet or a political statement or a rigid statement or a philosophy. Just observe some of the creatures they know what is fresh. They have an intelligence within. So as we, as an evolved creature on this planet, human being should be evolved to a place that we should be in a better position compared to any other creature on the planet to know the food that we eat. Food that we eat is alive and it is fully alert and it is simple enough to be integrated as part of our life. So folks, may I invite you, I don't get paid for any of this and I'm not intended to get paid for any of this. What I say is that I've been up and down the steps for one hour and climbed 167 flows. That means going up and down on a six level building. 
to do 167 floors in one hour. I burn enough. I think I've got enough to sustain me through to next morning. I wish that we create a diet, we create a food intake that has a little deficit than what we really need for our life to support and sustain and for us to be energized. These days, we don't do any physical work. Most of the time we sit down and tap on a touch screen or stare at a screen or sit down with our legs up compared to generations before us, our forefathers. Work for 17, 18 hours a day just to support, to feed their stomachs, their families. And why are we in a situation when we have the choice, the food that we eat. It is that we need to be sensitive and conscious with the food that we eat, food that is in front of you and pay a great respect to the earth that provide us all of this has come from the earth, nowhere else. And people who made it possible, particularly those farmers who had their fingers and hands down on the ground and on the earth. But who knows these days with machinery? Well, we've done well. Somehow we can do better by being conscious and gentle with everything we do and more importantly be gentle and respectful with the earth that support our lives thank you folks